So Tyler, you just mentioned a whole bunch of items that are in the revision process. You know, we can't win them all. If you mm -hmm. had to say this item or these top items would be something that's really critical or important for Wisconsin dairy farmers, which one or which ones would you pick? Yeah, so if I was at, at pick one, and this is what we focused on when we um, talked to our members about, you know, please get involved in um, commenting on USDA's recommendations. It's really the make allowance because this has a direct effect on Wisconsin farmers' dairy checks. And we understand these haven't been updated in a long time. And with the increased cost of labor, inflation, you know, make allowances should probably be increased. In, in Wisconsin Farm Bureau, American Farm Bureau, we, we advocated that um, we understand the need to increase the make allowance, but what should happen is a mandatory price, uh, a mandatory participation in a cost survey for, for processors before they're increased. So right now, the only data that we have is a voluntary survey, survey conducted by Dr. Mark Stevenson in 2024. Unfortunately, the survey wasn't mandatory. And so that means that 66% uh, of processing plants did not participate in the survey. So if you're a new efficient processing plant and you know, you know that this survey is going to be used to determine make allowances moving forward, <clears throat> there was no incentive to participate in the survey that would drive down your make allowances for other plants. So um, so we believe that you know having that mandatory uh, survey is really what um, could make a, a big change in what the make allowance actually should be. So across the country, you know, if you look at across the country, there's been eight billion dollars in new processing capacity coming online. So we believe this shows that the make allowance adjustment should be a minimal change. But until we have the data, we we just don't know for sure. Um, and, and we've talked about, you know, you've seen in the, in other media reports that the farm bill has expired. One of the problems that we face with not having a new farm bill connects to this issue. So the farm bill passed by the House Agriculture Committee included language for a mandatory processor cost survey, but without its passage, we can't get the data to, to have a data-driven make allowance adjustment. And so USDA, again, when I talked about how they're working in this kind of bubble when they're doing these this hearing, the, Dr. Mark Stevenson testified and his survey was submitted as evidence showing what the make allowance should be and, and USDA had to use it just when they set their, their uh, make allowance adjustments. So in Wisconsin, um, USDA has recommended a five cent make allowance adjustment. Um, most of Wisconsin milk goes to cheese production, which is class three, meaning Wisconsin farmers are facing a 90 cent per hundred weight reduction in their milk prices. And, and, you know, as milk prices kind of adjust over time, and we're looking at farms that, that um, have a break even point of 16 to $17 per hundred weight, um, there's not a big margin in that when you start talking about taking over almost close to a dollar away from uh, farmers' milk prices.